Well, what we have is Sylvania flat screen TV um, 32 inch thing is in my bedroom. It has developed a problem where it goes on and off. Uh, it runs for a little while, it gets good and warmed up and it shuts off. I've already popped back and removed that inverter board which I suspect is the problem because I didn't see anything on the power supply that was remotely close to leaking or burned or you know that so it is getting power it has turned on so I don't expect and what I found uh, I have to go and get it I'm doing all this repair in my bedroom because I'm lazy and don't want to go to the haul this thing to the shop and work on it there and yeah well, there it is you can obviously see how these diodes get warm too but they all check good but you can see that's not the color that that's supposed to be here this one's good i've checked it. it's good these two i gotta a uh, image of the board this is the a71 f0 mutt um, here's what it's supposed to look like those are 18k resistors and then you've got a brown black black there or something of the sorts which is a 10 ohm resistor and you can see what these look like here now I don't have 18 K's but I do have some 21 K's so we're gonna throw it in there and it should work a hell of a lot but these resistors are testing in the high mega ohm range I mean they're 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 gone they're toast the TV does work but these when they start heating up the values creep up so high to where it shuts down eh, you could tell they get hot but I'm gonna put in these 21s for now. I'm gonna order these, but I'm gonna order a higher wattage, I think, to go here. But I'm gonna, we're gonna see if this works. And if this works, I'll order the other ones. So I'm gonna get on that. Okay, here we are with the new resistors in. This is probably a temporary fix. This should work in theory. Um, the old resistors are there they go god I lost them in fucking bed oh here they are <laughs> now I'm trying to do a here's our old ones this is a big difference there that band is brown but it's supposed to be gold that one you know this this had me confused at first because I thought these were 100 ohm resistors and I don't have any of those so I would I would have been bought 100 now if I hadn't looked up this image I would have never known you know what these are uh, yeah that's uh, what is this model this is Samsung 32 inch uh, let me see what it's no it's a sylvania excuse me yes why lcs 320 ss8 uh flat screen it's not a fancy one it's my tv set it's not my gaming monitor or anything like that it's a television set it's not you know just your plain jane thing but these sets were problematic for this problem I am gonna go I saw a crusty capacitor over here right there right there it's kind of black I know I don't like that I'm not liking how that looks that's probably the cheapest of cheap capacitors there's some more of these things here so I've got my uh, capacitance uh, capable meter here I can check those with and and I'll just you used parts off of this board here, these tantalums or whatever. But I'm gonna put it up and see how it works tonight. If it's still doing what it's doing, and I'm gonna start with the caps. 
all around all the caps on it this board I cannot find this board online anywhere you know people say they have it but they're always out of stock <clears throat> and it's a split power supply this is the inverter supply board the other board ties into here is a power supply for the control and audio amplifier and this is goes to the control board and tell it to turn on and off so yeah we're gonna go and hook it up and see uh god i don't like how that's burned i mean that it's been cooking we're gonna hook it in and see how it works i guess oh yeah okay here's our bad cap here i run them on the capacitor tester the meter and this thing is so far out of tolerance it's supposed to be a 0 0.01 micro cap microfarad uh, capacitor come off of that inverter this thing is reading like like one like 0 0.10 it, it's marked 103 on it so it's uh, 0.01 it's reading way up too high so that's definitely bad I, I don't have no idea the leakage on it I don't have that piece of equipment with me right now so I pulled one off of a, an audio uh, a circuit board, commercial audio thing. It's a 103, 100 volt cap. And it measured spot on 0.01 microfarad. So we're going to pop this in before I put that board back in the TV. And hopefully this will fix the problems. Um, Hopefully, I keep my fingers crossed here. I know I got the value of the resistors a little high, but it's got to be better than 3.4 mega ohms is what those resistors were reading. Well, one was completely open, the other one was like 3.4 megs. So, yeah, we're going to do that and see if it fires up. As I couldn't, before I pulled the board, it wouldn't even turn on at all. That's why I pulled the board and started dicking with it. Well, another little follow-up um, we have replaced some more parts here here's that one bad film cap I replaced it I also replaced these other two that tested out of spec these electrolytics were okay there was one eh, questionable electrolytic here which was a uh, 470 by 35 which I went on put this one in which measured spot on of course our big resistor is replaced um, all the other electrolytics I tested were okay the big filters were fine these diodes were yeah they even though the boards cooked it uh, they were still working so I'm about ready to slap this board back in and see if it's going to catch fire or not or if my TV is going to come back to life so next part of this you'll see is probably the board back in and if TV is working or not alright we're back with the Sylvania uh, 32 inch I got the board back in I turned the flash off because the glare Got it all back in, got it all back up. I don't know how good that's going to show up. But we got, I think my converter's on there. Um, and this is a good, so yeah, that's a good sign. It's on now. Let's see. What is it going to do? Okay, the light's on. Okay. So yeah, it's got my Xfinity box. Uh, it had to reboot because I unplugged the whole power strip. So it's got to redo all this crap um it's looks well it looks good it's at least it's working now it is working with the 21k resistors in it uh the new caps it's uh it's it's working you can see it's working um i'm gonna let this run and right now i'm gonna call it fixed but i'm gonna let it run we'll get a picture here in a minute and i'll be back when that happens all right, just a little briefie here of parts that were replaced out of that Samsung LCS320 uh, uh, 88S. I can't remember the model number. It's it's that one that has the problem where it runs or shuts off or 
whatever, and track down the bad parts. First off, sir suspect were the overheated power resistors that have gone open, or and the, also it's twin that has a very high. They're supposed to be 18k, 21k seem to work fine in the unit. Um, and I'm pretty sure you know anywhere within a 5%, maybe even a 10% tolerance would work for that. Um, but one of these was completely open. The other one was like four mega ohms or something, 3.4 or something way up there. Not good. And and then, of course, our crusty uh, metal film cheapy, cheapy, cheapy thing. Uh, 0.01 microfarad. That was replaced with a new one. Well, used one that was spot on. And, of course, it's two siblings, the 0.022s. Just went on and replaced them all. Come to find out these 0.022s were also out of tolerance. Um, and then this was another culprit here, this electrolytic. It's a Jam Jamicon cap, which is a high, better quality cap, but this cap has gone to leakage areas that I don't dare go into because when I tested it for leakage at 35 volts, it was so leaky. Yeah, it's, it, but it's not, bulged or anything and the capacitance was you know kind of wonky there but those are the bad parts on the board um i can write down their positions on the board but your your inverter board may vary because there's a couple of revisions of that board um i'll put all that stuff in the description below what where these parts were populated and their number positions on the board if you're playing along at home you know that's what i've replaced and the tv seems to have started so let me cut this and we'll go to that liver or kidney problems or other medical conditions and about all the medicines you take including herbal supplements harvoni should not be taken with any medicines containing jesus christ or st john's Ward. It also should not be taken. That is. Still not as weird as Michael, though. Mark Hoskler leaving Craig's with his wife. We asked Sweetside, who did you aspire to be like when you were a kid? Oh, I love that. Who did you want to be like? Who did you aspire to be like? Was it one person? My, my, my father. Really? Was he a, what, 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 was he a firefighter? Or was he a dad? Oh, that's cool. That guy or girl? He looks amazing. He's aged so well, he looks exactly the same. He had a, he had an ugly face. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Right after Saved by the Bill went off. Fucked it. You mad because I took your truck? Or because if I can drive, I don't need you no more. Is that all you need me for, right? Jesus. Well, Toy Story. Not authorized. Yeah, because I don't buy into that bullshit channels they try to sell me. Hmm. Well, it's safe to say that. Timothy Davidson. Authorities say Billy Joel Tracy oh. had an extensive history of attacks in prison personnel dating all the way More back criminals. to 2005 when he wounded a guard at Amarillo, Texas facility, stabbing him. Yeah. Who finds it so difficult to express emotion? There's so much crap on TV now. It's elementary. I thought you guys already knew. I mean. Anyway, it's safe to say that my TV is back working now. Um, 